One of the biggest movies of the summer was Oppenheimer. There was a lot of chat about it when it came out. There's a lot of chat about it just now because the the home video has just been released, you know, the the DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, Steelbook and whatnot. Uh, That's just been released as well. One of the things that people haven't been talking too much about is the score. That was released about a month or two ago on, on CD and vinyl. I've got the vinyl here. Let's take a look. So here we have it, the three record, three LP set of the Oppenheimer soundtrack from Mondo, uh, purchased directly from Mondo and sent over here to Scotland. Didn't take too long for it to get here, shipping wise, that's always good with Mondo. At the time of recording this, they actually have a bit of a Black Friday slash Cyber Monday week sale on just now, where I think it's free shipping in the US and a flat rate of $10 shipping for the rest of the world. So. That's really handy, and that's a good deal for anyone who's not in the USA because it's always the it's always the postage costs that like that bump up things like this that you'd have to order from overseas. Anyway, here is the opening. We've got the bobby ring here with the basic info. So it's three hundred and forty gram coloured vinyls, and they're advertising their Wakanda Forever score. And the Creed original score, interestingly not Creed 2 or Creed 3, but Creed. So that must be recently released as well. Anyway, there's the Obi ring. And here is the actual record set. So it's a, a trifold. Oh, let me put this knife away before I kill myself. So yeah, we'll try and fit this all in the frame here. So a trifold gate sleeve here. Is that what you call it? Anyway, there's three parts to it. It folds out and it looks pretty cool. So that's a nice wide shot there, which is interesting because Oppenheimer's obviously famously shot on IMAX and the IMAX frame is taller than it is wider, so it's interesting to see artwork that's the opposite, that's wider than it is taller. But there you go. So the sleeve cardboard itself is a matte finish. And there's the back. So I think this was uh, Ludwig Jorensen's is it Gorenson or Jorensen? I think it's Jorensen. Anyway, it was Lud- Lud- Ludwig's third, no, sorry, second collaboration with Christopher Nolan, I think. I think the first one was Tenet. Obviously, Christopher Nolan films in the past had always been scored by the great Hans Zimmer. Uh, Hans Zimmer didn't do Tenet and Hans Zimmer didn't do Oppenheimer, but Ludwig Jorensen definitely did an amazing job. I think he first came to my attention with the um, the the Mando, the Mandalorian soundtrack. I, I wasn't aware that he'd also done the Black Panther soundtrack, but that was a great one as well. And Tenet is also a great one. So, young Ludwig, I say young Ludwig, I have no idea how old he is. He is... Anyway, it doesn't say there. Yeah, let's open it up. So, three records on a black pouch. And we have our little booklet here, which I didn't actually know it came with. I thought it was just going to be like a, a single sheet poster, so that's pretty good. I won't read all of this out, but you can screenshot it and have a read if you like. And it's always nice to see all of the individual musicians who worked on it, getting a credit there. So that's the booklet. And here are the three records. One... (gasps) This one actually matches the centre sticker normally when you flip it over. It doesn't quite well, does it match? It's close. 
it's the closest I think I've seen. It's a it's a weird OCD thing that I have with with um, vinyl records uh, to have the actual center stickers matching. There's the second record. Does the center sticker match when I flip it? Ah, oh, damn. Maybe that other one was just a one-off. And the third and final LP. So, we obviously couldn't quite fit it all on two records. And side six, um, so, you know, side B of the third disc, only has two tracks on it, and they're only, like, two and a half minutes long each so that's a that's a short one but uh, that is that's probably the side that'll play most because that's the Destroyer of Worlds track uh, which I remember at the time listening to it and loving it let's throw it on the turntable and have a listen As always, due to YouTube copyright strikes and whatnot, I can't actually play the music here, but I've got it on the turntable there. It's piping through my system and I'm listening to it on the headphones here. For any tech nerds, I'll uh, put links and details in the descriptions below as to what my, my audio setup is here. It's nothing overly fancy, it's nothing amazing. Uh, it, you know, it works for the small room that I'm in here and it sounds pretty good, whether it's through the speakers or through the headphones. Right now it is the, the last couple of tracks, the, the last side six, Oppenheimer and Destroyer of Worlds that's playing just now. I remember the second time I saw Oppenheimer at the cinema, um, really keen in on, on the score, on the soundtrack and on, on those tracks specifically. Um, yeah, it, uh, the movie looks great, the movie sounds great. I'm very pleased to have this on vinyl. If you're a fan of movie soundtracks and collecting vinyl records, I highly recommend this one. I'm not sure where it is still in stock or not. As I said, I got it from Mondo Direct, so thanks to Mondo for hooking me up with that. You can buy it on, I think, Amazon and um, other places as well. Just, you know, have a wee Google search. I'll put some links down below also. If you're interested in more Oppenheimer content, you can have a look at a couple of other videos of mine. I'll put them on the screen here. I did a bit of an IMAX digital comparison I'll put that there and my review of the movie I will put there if you like this video smash that like button if you'd like to see more content like this you can always subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video mm.